from the Wet Wang TV News Studio in Western Supermare. It's Wet Wang TV News with Patrick Billington and your news anchor, Chris Johnson. Coming up tonight, Wet Wang TV with Radio Withensee. Turn on the Christmas lights in Barton. Patrick Billington is live on stage. We get winter gardening tips from Charlie Dimmock. We'll speak to the Chuckle Brothers live for absolutely no reason at all. And it's back. Wet Wang's got the talent factor. Get me out of here. We'll take a look back at Saturday's ratings loser. The first roundup of this evening's news and paper chain, East Yorkshire's oldest origami business, has folded. But meanwhile, Nigel Ambrose, local businessman from Market Wheaton, has set up the region's first meditation clinic. He said it's intended to get unemployed people involved and save them sitting around doing nothing all day. And Gok Wok, the fashion guru, is in Wet Wang this week. He's giving fashion tips to local people and says he's particularly keen to give advice to men who don't know how to coordinate shirts and ties. Right, let's go live now to the Chuckle Brothers for no reason whatsoever. Hello. Who's, who's who said that? I don't know. Oh, oh hang on, hang on. It's up there. Hiya. <laughs> Alright then. You're performing at Hold New Theatre in Cinderella. You must be excited. Yes, how, how did you, you know that? Here we are. Are. Yes, 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 we're doing uh, I'm Zip and He's Buttons. Cinderella. Cinderella, yes, we're not doing Cinderella, but that's oh. the show, Cinderella, yes. And when's it on from until? We're running from the 8th of... Um, December. Is it? Yes. Yes, till uh, the 8th of... Um, January. Is it? Yes. Yes, See, I know. Yeah. We have a pantomime in Wet Wang. Wet Wang, of course. You know the place. Yes, I know. We've uh, we've actually never had a celebrity do the Wet Wang Pantomime. Might you be interested next year? The Wet Wang Pantomime? I can't believe it. We can do the Wet Wang back. Oh, yes, if, if it's possible. Yeah, what subject is it? Do you know? Is it, have they what got they, a subject what they doing? to it? It's Jack and the Beanstalk. Hey. Oh, brilliant. Jack and the Beanstalk. You, I can be the giant. I was going to say that. Yeah. You can be the giant. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. Or the, or the toadstool. That's more like yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next year, then. Yes. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. See you next year there. To you. Man, to you. Uh, not to him, no, to me. To you? Yes. Not to you. No, no, that's him, not you. I'm you. To him? You, no, you're me. I'm you. No, no, I'm, I'm me, you're you. How could, how, could, how could I be you? Now, it's the you're middle of winter and the last place you'd want to be, of course, is in the middle of your garden, freezing to death. So we thought we'd try to get some garden tips with gardening expert Charlie Dimmock. Patrick Billington caught up with her in Bridlington. Can we ask you about gardening? Just randomly, it's the middle of winter. Yeah. What's the best thing to have in a really big garden? Well, it's just a bizarre question because it's too much. At this time of the year, there's not much going on, but you should have got all the spring bulbs in by now. Right. Uh, you can prune all your apple trees, now they're dormant, and do any sort of hard landscaping ready for the spring. Oh. Having said that, I'm in thirty floors of a tower block, so. And it's back. Wet Wang's got the talent factor Get Me Out of Here got its first screening on Saturday night. If you missed it, don't worry, we're going to show you some highlights. And a reminder that Patrick Billington, the host, is also a contender this year. Here's what happened at Wet Wang Village Hall. Welcome to Wet Wang's got the talent factor Get Me Out of Here. Wet Wang, make some noise! Because we've got people here, and here's our first act tonight. Time to turn on one of our local town's Christmas lights. We teamed up with Radio Withensee FM uh, and to turn on the town's Christmas lights in Barton. You may remember that Patrick is banned from turning on Wet Wang's Christmas lights after they failed to turn on last year. So let's go to Barton. Fingers crossed, everything's going to go all right. Yes, Chris, here we are live at Barton's big Christmas lights. Switch on! Look at this crowd! Look at 
this crowd. Fantastic crowd. There are a thousand of people here. I'm nice. here. We've got Rodney Godmuck from Radio Witham C. Hello, I'm laughing. And we're about to do the big switch on, so who in Barton is excited? They're excited. They're excited. Over by the tree, we have the Lord Bear, we have the two children as well who are going to be pressing the button to light up the region and light up Barton. Are you ready to come down? Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy Christmas, Barton! Put the plug in! What did I tell you? <laughs> and now, wet wang weather. No, Keith, you're a silly sausage. No, you're a silly sausage. Stop it, you're a sillier sausage than me. Bye. Hi, uh, let's take a look at the picture of the day. Uh, as you can see, this is from Phileas Fogg in Bridlington. Thanks for that. A bit windy there this morning. <laughs> and we can have a look at a couple of other pictures that have been sent in as well. Uh, that's the wrong slideshow. Ah, there we go. Uh, this one's coming from Pat Butcher from uh, Heaven. And this one from me. Nice rainbow. So let's have a look at the detail then. Here's how it's going to look for the next 24 hours. Uh, as you can see, we've got um, a bit of cloud in, uh, in Wet Wang. And that's this morning. And then this afternoon, that cloud moves out to the North Sea and is replaced by, uh, well, blue skies and sunshine. Temperature's not bad for the time of year, peaking at around about 35 Celsius. <laughs> In December, <laughs> mistake. Um, yeah, I think actually it's probably going to be about three degrees. Uh, sorry about the graphics there. Anyway, uh, keep your weather pictures coming in. It's uh, Patrick, the weatherman, at wetwang.tv. Well, that's just about it from us for tonight and this year. So from all of us here at Wet Wang TV, uh, we, me and Patrick, would like to wish you a very happy Christmas and so too would a few friends. Hi, I'm Kath. I just moved to Wet Wang because I love their Christmas trees. Merry Christmas to all you Wet Wang TV viewers. Merry Christmas all you Wet Wang viewers. Take care. Happy New Year. Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone and all the wet wine viewers. A happy Christmas, a very happy Christmas, eh? To all the wet wine TV viewers. I was going to say that. Well, I said it. Yeah, well, all right then. He said happy it. Happy Christmas to you all. To all the wet wine viewers. viewers <laughs> yeah. Have a good time. <laughs>